My name is Gary Miller. I'm with Eureka Environmental. I've been in the industry about 20 years and we're going to discuss what's on the quick start guide and how to attach your instrument when you first receive it. When you receive your instrument, it will come with a quick start guide and a software disk. The software does need to be loaded on your PC in order to communicate with your multiprobe. This one has an external battery pack for long-term deployment. USB to serial adapter. Um, this one's for Eureka products only. It supplies power through so you don't have to have a separate external power supply. Just use this. We have a uh, PCIO cable. This is to communicate with your SON for, you know, at your desk. This is, for, this is not for field use but for internal use only. And this is your underwater cable. And this will attach to your multiprobe. Weighted sensor guard, which we will put on there when we deploy it in the field. And this is the multiprobe. This one happens to be a sub 2 with a big 4, which is temperature, pH, conductivity, which is also salinity and total dissolved solids, and optical dissolved oxygen. This is the temperature sensor. This is the conductivity sensor, which is also total dissolved solids and salinity. This is the pH reference, which you will need for pH or any ion selective electrode. And this is the optical DO sensor. Now what I'm going to go ahead and do is put on the weighted sensor guard, which is what I would use if I was deploying this in the field. This helps protect the sensor, it also gives it the extra weight to lower it down. I will remove the plug. Grab the cable. I will be using the same piece that holds the plug in to screw down the cable. So let the threads pull the cable down. So this has some strength built into it. We have strain relief in there. So you can use this to support the weight of your sond. Um, now it's ready to be dropped in water, lake, river, stream, whatever it may be. Now we're going to attach this to the PC. But prior to doing that, we're going to load our software. So hold on one moment. Now this comes in, it says install me first, right on the label. And of course this will be label side up. We'll install it into the PC. And we'll walk through the screenshots. Now the screen comes up, it says that publisher needs to be verified. This is a Windows formality. Just go ahead and say continue. And if the USB is already loaded, the control software will initialize and you will be scrolling data. And we are now scrolling data. As you can see, we're on a one second interval and the data is scrolling down. In the orange bar at the top, the most current data is displayed. And if you want to do long-term deployment, unattended logging, you can just remove the cable, screw on your battery pack, Put your body of water and you're done. That's simple.